Okay, so we've now dated Damien. Very good. While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we will get any coupons today. So, am I doing word jumbles because I said I'm doing word jumbles? Or is that just a coincidence that it, I'm, my character always does that or because my profile had that? Dunno. The nice mail person slides a couple of letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get in, and obviously they're not a hunky dad, so they're not going to render that. Hey, my coupons! I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm... I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Ooh! A letter from another college, perhaps, methinks. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Okay, can you come back later? Ooh. This is um this is a worry. Okay, just thought you wanted the big old envelope from the HIA. Immediately Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts. Why is she yelling? Is there like music on or something? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please handed the envelope which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out the piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. <coughs> and I burp apparently. And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! Oh yay, she got into school! And now I'm gonna be depressed because she's leaving me! Ooh. Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Oh, good for her! Congrats, sweetie, that's amazing! I'm so proud of you! She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god! I really can't believe I got in! Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and the photography was incredible. Hmm. Wait, Dad? Uh. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment, HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied for. But I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're going to make it work. Hmm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Aw, oh, this is nice. This is a nice moment. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie. We're celebrating tonight. Dinner. Your choice. Wherever you want. Got Wherever? Ooh. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrap burritos from a nearby food truck. Oh, that's nice. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple girl. Just give me a Rito with a view. Oh, that's nice. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. All right. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes. And there are all these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring a student ID. And... Amanda, slow down. You're going to choke on your burrito. I know. I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all the professional photo editing software for free. Ooh, that sounds good. It's nice to see a man who's so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it in between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. Oh yeah, I, I hate that. I personally really hate when people do that. Can't stand it. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone who's similar major in interest. I bet we're gonna be best of friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I know all about that. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only ro other roommate was a puppy that Craig bought home one night. Oh. We spent a semester fabricating a story around... Uh, fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Craig ruled. Hey. Carl ruled. <laughs> oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would a snake eat a rabbit though? Oh boy. I think I'll leave that one up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. Oh, 
No, he's gonna be... Okay. So, you know I had a talk with Mr. Vega. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? Oh. No, he did not, Amanda. Please explain. What? No. Uh -huh. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but... I need you to knock it out of the park for these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that we need that scholarship money. Fair enough. I know you can do it. Ah. Okay. Aww. I promise I'll try harder. Aww. Aww, this is this is so touching. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Oh, this is so sweet! And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Oh, My eyes immediately well up in tears. That's so hard. Ah! Oh, hmm. no, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person and I hope... I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop, you're gonna make me cry too. She already was, wasn't she? Hmm. Do it, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. I pull Amanda for a hug and kiss and, on the, and kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Love you too, pops. Ah, that was a nice. That was a nice cool. dinner. Okay, cool, cool. So I guess from this point on, I'm just dating whoever the hell I want now. Between these recordings, I told Matt, right, as in the actual Matt in real life, Hey, hey, I dated Damien, he was cool. He said, what? Why didn't you date hunky Matt from the coffee shop? But, I don't know, I didn't like him that much, but Matt wants me to date Matt, so I guess I'm dating Matt next. Um, should I date, is anyone else? I should catch up with Craig. Hmm. But let's go Matt, let's go Matt. I think we can do better than we have in the past. Do I rate these guys? Oh, oh no, they rate me. Ooh, oh, that's the amount of dates we've been on. I understand. Okay, let's go to Matt next. So, let's read his profile first to make sure we get all the information we need for the date. Perfect, uh, on a Friday night, you're most likely to perfect my cold brew setup. One drip at a time, baby. Oh, I do like cold brew, that's nice. If you had one thing to take on your desert island, uh, fine tunes to pass the day away. Yeah, not a bad option. What are your turn-ons? multi instrumentalism Oh god, I'll try it again. Multi-instrumentalism. What do you want to be when you grow up? A barista. Okay, that's weird. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles? What's your ideal date? We go to an animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. Oh, that that's really nice actually, I like that. What do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in-ear and over-ear, just in case. Okay, I spent a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas where did writing commas into song titles come from, and where did it go? Did, did we all agree it's a bad idea? Did we have commas and song titles, and that was a thing that went away? I'm actually intrigued by this, but I like his profile overall. Yeah, I think I was too judgmental before. Matt, you're right. I'm going to date Matt. Here we go. Spend less money than you make. No shit. A bird in the hand is better than a bird in the eye. <laughs> okay. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang out soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding on Matt's response. Do these dads just have nothing better to do than just stare at their dad book page? That's nuts. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Soundgarden. Uh, which is not the band Soundgarden, I guess. Wanna come out? What's a sound garden? <laughs> it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back in when it was cool to have soul patches. Yep, that's true. While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Pup. Cool little indie pop punk band, rock band out of Canada. Should be fun. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Very good. I log off of Dad Book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenage turning into the occult. Oh god. 
I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god! Other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all the airbrush vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive in the 80s? Okay, so I, have, I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at a concert now? You just stand there and stare at a band, mate. But nothing complicated about it. I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative, relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Anyway, what's up? Hmm. Amanda, how do I be cool? Does that, is that the syntax? How do I be cool? Hmm. Let me put a pot of coffee on first. This is going to be a long night. No, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Ugh. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? Oh, something I remember a memory of sea, sea of screaming preteens. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh God. There we go. I tried so hard to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Hmm. Dad, it was so much more than I had... It was so much more than it, and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seemed pretty ashamed when I found out all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing your trapper keeper. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you just remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot, for <laughs> and you'll fit right in. No, no, Justin, d don't do that, dude. Don't. Well, it's a smaller place. I think Matchett, they're a, Matt mentioned they're a punk band? Hmm. Was punk in that list of things he said? I don't even remember shit. Like DIY gutter punk? Tra thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Hmm? Are they post punk? Proto punk? C punk? Jeremy punk? <laughs> Jeremy punk? Is there a guy called Jeremy punk? Okay. What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I get away with it. There you go, finger guns, yay! Ellipses. Mm -hmm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said they're Canadian punk. Ah. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? Hmm, that's kind of, doesn't it? I don't see a friendship and politeness at the core tenets of the punk scene. Huh? Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Huh. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. It has. She's not wrong. Well, I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. That's it. Ellipses. That's it. Hmm. I mean, yeah. It's not like you're gonna jump in a mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> and if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go. Three on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then he forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Is this gonna happen? A strange dude in a sexual goals hoodie offers to buy you merch. Oh. That's not a thing. That's not a thing that's actually gonna happen, is it? What? Uh, never mind. Just have a blast tonight. Is that something that she did? I'm confused.